Sorry, could I sit with you? <laughs> yeah, it's really busy around this time of day, and I couldn't find a free table. <sighs> Thank you. Good God, talking to people and stuff is really hard for me. Sorry if I come off as weird. <laughs> Oh, did you come here to read? If so, go go right ahead. I don't plan on annoying you or anything. No, seriously, I just came here to write a bit, so don't feel obligated to talk to me. Unless you're in the mood for a little chat. So, are you taking a break from work right now? I get that. Sometimes it's really nice to be able to just shut off for a bit. Enjoy a cozy drink and get lost in thought. Do you come here often, by the way? I've never seen you around, and I'd consider myself a regular. The second time? Yeah, that makes sense. In my opinion, this place is the best in the area. Like, once you find it, you gotta come back. That was the case for me, at least. The drinks are absolutely fantastic, and the staff are all so nice and welcoming. Have you tried any of the cakes yet? <laughs> They'll blow your mind, promise. Or maybe don't try them. You might get addicted. <laughs> Though, that would mean I'd get to see you around more often. You should definitely try the cake. <laughs> mm. Yes, they're really that good. I know the guy who makes them, and he's an absolute sweetheart. Makes them fresh every day. Sometimes we hang out after hours. Just sit here and eat some of the leftovers. That's one of the reasons why I love this particular coffee shop. Once you get to know people, you're basically family here. <laughs> I also love to people watch whenever I'm not buried in my writing. It's so fascinating to see everyone rush by as though there's no tomorrow. <sighs> Usually I come in either before or after the busy hours, but this time I couldn't avoid it. Normally I love the place because of how calm and quiet it is, but today I have plans later on and figured either I have to come here a bit earlier than usual or not at all. Even though I knew it'd be this packed, I thought I'd give it a try anyways. Maybe get some writing done. I struggle with doing stuff at home. Getting inspired and motivated to work is really tricky when you can just be, well, lying in bed, watching YouTube or streaming Netflix. Somehow, when I am outside, the pressure to perform is much higher. And the distractions aren't half as distracting anymore. Like, have you ever seen someone watch YouTube out in the open? <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow it just works a lot better when I'm out. Maybe it's the background sounds. Or feeling you have to do something while you're sipping your coffee. Who knows? Or it could also be all the people around. For me, it always helps to realize I'm not completely alone and shut off from this world. Just like a part of something when I'm sat here, tapping away on my computer, scribbling on my notepad. <laughs> Either way, somehow, it works. That's the important part, isn't it? 
And sometimes he meets really interesting people when you're outside. Like right now, for example. Or the other day, I saw someone in a bear costume walk by and wave at me. I didn't technically meet them since we didn't talk or anything. But that was a lot more exciting than just sitting at home all by myself. Somehow, it just made me smile. I'm also trying to build up my confidence and get better about talking to people. Normally, I would have turned to my heel, seeing how full the place is. But just the thought of having to talk to somebody really made me physically tremble. But I'm really proud of myself for being able to have a conversation with a stranger right now. And I have to say, thank you for allowing me to talk to you. I could just as well have put on headphones or pulled out your phone to ignore me. But you didn't. And to be honest, I'm really glad about that. You could have just scoffed at me when I asked to sit with you or tell me to piss off. But you didn't. I mean, I'm working on the whole confidence thing. I can't go up to people and tell them, Oh, I really like your jacket. Or, your boots are cool. Or, hey, I love your hair color. Those kinds of things I always think when I see people. And I know they would probably love to hear it. Especially since a lot of folks are really insecure. But I still really struggle with it. Yeah, I guess I should just try it sometime. What's the worst that can happen? Well, murder, technically. But I'm sure nobody would kill anyone over a compliment. Right? Uh, I don't want to get spat or scoffed at either. Or what if they just roll their eyes or completely ignore me? Oh, because I'm annoying. <sighs> Sorry, um... I tend to uh, spiral sometimes. It's not really fun. As I said, I'm trying to work on it, and uh, anxiety is one son of a bitch to handle. It's actually really sad to see how many people suffer from social anxiety for seemingly no reason. Well, not no reason. People are pretty scary. And way back when, everyone's survival did depend on being able to fit in. For them, it really was life or death to be accepted by others, since humans are needed in a group to flourish. But it's absolute bullshit that we have to live with that now. And it's so irritating when you know it's not critical, and you know it's unlikely for anyone to get mad at you over nothing. You know what I mean? Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, thank you for being so nice about this. I'm really surprised I'm able to talk so much right now. I swear I'm usually much quieter. <laughs> Do you get that often? <laughs> that you're easy to talk to, I mean. Because I do. For some reason, people seem to love to open up to me. I don't really mind it. I just don't get why that happens. I do find it super interesting to talk to people, hearing their stories and all, seeing how they tick, how different they are from what I would expect, based on movie stereotypes. As a kid, I really didn't have friends, so I have to rely on books and movies to learn about how people function, and on there, it's always the same few tropes over and over again. Most people don't fit into these tropes even remotely, and that was a weird lesson to have to learn. <laughs> uh, to be honest, you seem like a bookish type as well. Maybe that's why I felt most comfortable coming up to you. Well, because you look approachable. <laughs> hey, that was almost a compliment. Can I try again? To practice and build confidence, I mean. <laughs> You'd be my first victim, so to say. You you obviously don't have to say yes. I don't want you to be uncomfortable because of me. 
Oh, okay. It kind of is over the top how much I worry, I know. It's really uh, unreasonable and weird. But, I mean, normally a person would just walk away. But you're kind of stuck here with a half-finished drink with a random weirdo sitting at your table. <laughs> right, right, back on track. Would you be okay with me practicing compliments on you? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I like your shirt. The color really suits you. Was that good? I guess if you were walking up to somebody at random, you'd probably be more like, hey, nice shirt, or something like that. I don't know. But it does flatter you. It really brings out your eyes, makes them pop, you know. You have really pretty eyes. Every time somebody says it, it just gives me the serial killer, I want to put your eyes in a jar vibes, uh, but I don't know how else to phrase it. You know, like when dentists say you have good teeth, it always feels so weird. <laughs> Uh, imagine somebody coming up to you and telling you that they like your teeth. But on the other hand, if I go up to a stranger and tell them they have a nice smile, is that weird? Could I try? I, I like your smile. <laughs> it worked. You're smiling. I could also say you're really pretty or your outfit is awesome or I love that ring you're wearing, right? I guess it depends on the situation, but I'm not really sure. <sighs> because sometimes it's these really small things I notice about somebody. Like the way they do their eyeliner, or the tattoo they have. Or the way they did their hair, you know? Or that pretty bump on their nose. Do you think it's weirder to tell somebody that they're pretty? Or that I like their eyebrows? Hmm. Because on one hand, saying somebody is pretty or handsome is much stronger and, like, broader, you know? But on the other hand, who am I to decide that? Who am I to tell somebody that they're pretty without having seen them on a bad day, right? I think the concept of pretty is kind of shallow, to be honest. Because it's pretty to whom? Does it really matter if I find somebody good-looking? Or am I just saying that to deem pretty to society uh, but in the end i'm worried i just freak people out when i come up to them and say nice eyebrows or cool shoes you know because that does raise the question whether i was staring at them to evaluate their eyebrows look good right uh, i'm overcomplicating it again aren't i yeah i mean if somebody came up to me and said something like hey i like your hair or you have nice hands I think I'd just be flattered. No weird thoughts or anything. Oh, shoot. I, darn, I gotta leave soon. I didn't realize how late it was already. Um, thank you so much for chatting with me. I hope I didn't seem too strange. <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure to get to talk to you. And um, if you ever see me sitting here on my own and feel like talking to me, I wouldn't mind if you didn't. Only if you want to, of course. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, I really like your voice. <laughs>